welcome back to my channel success engineering official today we are going to see how to create the fire fighting template in revit so let's open this uh, revit first revit mep double click to open this as you can see, as you can see in here this uh, revit is opening now it will take time because this revit is software is very big software so it will take time to open it it's not like autoguide this revit is with the heavy software it will take time so wait for opening So as you can see here, uh, to start any project in Revit, you require a template. So for the fire protection system, there are no template given. So actually, uh, you can see here, this is the welcome screen for the Revit MEP. So to create the template, you should open this in the model. You can see here, they are new and open. So you, you create a new project you are going to create so simply click on new as you can see here there are this new project uh, template is open so you can see here and uh, there are so many templates here so architectural structural default metric mechanical and construction there are no fire protection system templates so you have to create new templates so click uh, here the mechanical default and click on project template okay then click on ok we are creating the fire protection system template then we will uh, do the project for firefighting in Revit so as you see in here this is the mechanical template so this is mechanical template so what we will do you can see here this is the mechanical and uh, it's showing the sub uh, division is HVAC this is the floor plan so what we will do first of all we have to right click and create duplicate duplicate view and so by default this revit uh, have two uh, two view you can see here two levels so level one and level two so each level we have to duplicate so as you can see here the floor plan i am i have already duplicated so floor and uh, second one so you have to duplicate again duplicate. after duplicating what you will do simply right click and rename it Drag this one, this side little bit. You can rename so one and make it a sprinkler. Sprinkler. You can now click here and the second rename again to sprinkler. Okay, now go to the ceiling duplicate this also duplicate into and duplicate okay now simply right click to go and rename ceiling ceiling sprinkler So click and rename ceiling a sprinkler. Okay, so we have already renamed this. So what you will do simply select this and right click 
or simply select this and go to the view and uh, you can see here they are plan view so uh, just simply click on this arrow drop down arrow to go to the floor plan edit type and you can see here in this uh, type properties uh, you can see here this uh, view template applied in new view so you can see here this is in mechanical plan so what you will do simply click and there is no fire protection system here so what you will do simply select the mechanical select the mechanical and uh, click on duplicate so we will create here firefighting okay firefighting firefighting plan firefighting plan simply click on ok and now view property if you go to here down so you can see sub discipline is HPAC so if you click here there is no firefighting so what will do we have to rename firefighting firefighting okay now simply click on apply and ok and again here apply and ok ok click on ok again select this go to the plan view floor plan edit type firefighting already selected and if you will go down so here is also selected firefighting click apply ok apply ok okay, ok now go to the ceiling select this again go to here and reflected ceiling plan edit type go to edit type and here is none you can see here there is none so simply click and go to the mechanical ceiling duplicate this one and here is firefighting ceiling simply name firefighting Ceiling. click on ok and go to the down and select the sub discipline you can see already here firefighting so simply click and apply ok then apply ok and click on ok now you can see here again go select this one and go to the plan reflected ceiling you can see here go to the edit type here firefighting already ok what you will do is still this showing under uh, HVAC. So what you will do is simply select this and uh, click right, apply and uh, apply template properties. You can see here uh, there is fire padding. Go down and click apply properties and click OK. As you can see here, they are uh, here it's come mechanical and firefighting. Okay, so in the firefighting, it will move this sprinkler system move to the floor plan firefighting. Okay, and uh, another uh, ways to move this uh, template in firefighting uh, template. Simply select this, go to the properties. And you can see in here in the properties panel there is sub discipline. So simply select this, select on firefighting, and simply click on apply. You can see this template is moved say, sprinkler one, sprinkler two under floor plan firefighting. So if you click here on the minus, it will sheen in the firefighting. Okay, floor plan and sprinkler one and two. Again, similarly, you have to select this one, click right and apply in the apply view template, select the fire pattern ceilings, apply properties, ok. It move in the ceiling plan, fire pattern ceiling plan, again select this one, ceiling a sprinkler, right click or go to, simply select this one and go to the properties panel and you can see here there is a sub discipline so simply select and select the firefighting simply apply 
you can see this all ceiling sprinkler is moved under this fire party. Okay. So this uh, already firefighting uh, is already selected. So what we'll do now? We will save this. Simply click on file and uh, save. Go to the save and save as a template. Select one. Firefighting. Rename this fire. Fighting template and simply select the location where you want to save. So I'm I want to save on the desktop and simply click. Simply click on save. Okay, guys. So I think you learn how to create the firefighting template in the Revit. Why? Because uh, to start or to do the any project, firefighting project in Revit, you should uh, create, you should require a firefighting template. You cannot do the firefighting work project in a mechanical or SPC template. So you should require the firefighting template uh, first, then you can uh, create any project or uh, you can start any firefighting project in the Revit. So I think you'll learn how to create the template in the next uh, tutorial we have what we will do we will uh, will attach uh, or we will uh, insert uh, this uh, uh, Revit architectural RVT file into this uh, we'll do the Revit link this uh, architectural plan in the firefighting template and, and we will start the placing of a sprinkler in the fire fighting so and we will do the fire uh, sprinkler system in this uh, project in the Revit so don't forget to watch my next tutorial so thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye